hot off the heels of the Associated Press, the French National Press, and AFP refusing to publish Kate Middleton's fake um, Mother's Day photo. Here she, quote unquote she, comes apologizing for the Frankenstein image that was deemed way too altered to be published. I'm gonna read you her official apology. And we're gonna talk about why I don't think that this is actually Kate Middleton. Um, but let's start with the apology, shall we? So here's a tweet, it literally just went out. It says, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. C. So we know that it's signed off by Kate because it's C, C for Catherine. And she's saying I. Well, here's the thing, you know, um, I don't believe that Kate altered this image. They said that William photographed it, but I feel like perhaps they had actual, you know, photoshoppers or whatever on their team to photoshop this image rather than Kate. Remember, Kate just went through a major abdominal surgery that's got her out of commission for months. I don't believe that she would have the energy to be out here photoshopping this thing. I think that maybe, um, you know, if she's around for this photo, she overlooked things just to make sure like, hey, I want more of this, I want less of that, blah, blah, to make sure that the team had it to her specifics. But that's a big if. If you watch my video that I published earlier about how um, I'm not even sure she was actually sitting for this photo, I have doubts. Again, I, I really believe what the Spanish journalist said, which is that Kate's situation is a lot more serious than the British royal family is having us believe. How can I believe anything that they say right now when they release such a fake image, right? Um, and then before that, they released another fake image of Kate in the car. I just, I have literally no faith in them. So I feel like they're trying to, in order to, again, quell the rumors that something is amiss with Kate, um, they're trying to say, oh, here's Kate, releasing an official statement. So yes, she does exist, you guys, but she's just releasing this statement and accepting responsibility for this poorly edited photo. Um, I'm not buying it, you guys. I'm really, really sorry, I'm not. I think that this was professionally edited by somebody else, and now they're trying to put Kate's name on it because the whole issue is that people think it's so botched because they had to fake the fact that Kate was even there. So what better way to convince people that Kate was actually there and that she's doing fine and that she's still, you know, in the fold than to blame Kate for all of these mistakes. Sorry, but this statement to me just continues to show how bad this entire situation is. Maybe if they released another photo, a new actually recent photo of Kate alongside this tweet, you know, or with her kids or something, an unphotoshopped version, I'd be okay with it, but the fact that they're just putting this like lip service out there, no, I'm not buying it. You guys, what do you think? Do you buy this? What would make you believe in this story? Are you like me where you would need to see like a new and improved photo that's not completely Frankenstein Photoshop stitched together to death in order for you to buy that Kate is the one who, um, you know, actually did the editing and that everything's okay with her. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.